Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How do you know if you are being scammed? Scammers often use various tactics to deceive their victims, and recognizing these signs can help you avoid falling prey. Here are some key indicators. Unsolicited contact. If someone contacts you unexpectedly, whether by phone, email, or text, it could be a scam. Legitimate businesses typically do not initiate contact in such a manner. Request for personal information. Scammers often ask for personal details such as your social security number, bank account information, or credit card numbers. Genuine organizations do not request this information via unsolicited contact. Pressure to act immediately. Scammers create a sense of urgency to prompt you into making a decision without fully thinking it through. This can include threats of arrest, fines, or other dire consequences. Too good to be true. Offers that seem unusually beneficial or easy money schemes are often scams. If it sounds too good to be true, it likely is. Unusual payment methods. Scammers may insist on specific payment methods such as cryptocurrency, wire transfers, or gift cards. Legitimate transactions usually do not require such methods. Fake problems or prizes. Scammers might claim there is a problem with one of your accounts or that you have won a prize. These are common tactics to get you to reveal personal information or send money. Locked out of accounts. If you find yourself locked out of your accounts, it could be a sign that a scammer has accessed your logins and changed the passwords. Missing items. If you purchase an item online and it does not arrive, it could be an e-commerce scam. Signs of specific scams, romance scams. These involve building a rapport online before asking for money for spurious reasons. Once the scammer feels they have taken all they can, they will disappear. Emergency scams. These scams involve calls or emails claiming a friend or family member is in dire need. They use spoofing and available internet information to make the story seem plausible. Investment scams. These scams encourage you to invest in something that promises high returns, but prevents you from withdrawing your money when you try. What to do next? If you suspect you have been scammed, contact your local authorities and your bank to report the incident and freeze any affected accounts. Change your passwords, enable two-factor authentication, and ensure your devices are updated and secured with anti-malware protection. Helpful resources, County Office, www.countyoffice.org, we live security, we live security, we live security com 202303 signs dash scam how tell what do next. Texas Attorney General, texasattorneygeneral.gov slash slash consumer protections common scams. FTC consumer advice slash consumer.ftc.gov slash articles how avoid be a scam. Citizens advice slash citizensadvice.org.uk. Check if something might be a scams. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.